Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle and this is my channel and today I am back with another video and I'm going to be talking to you about how I level up my life each day on a budget. Okay so um, these are going to be things that I have implemented in my life to kind of get me to that girl status of um, just to become more of the person that I want to become and that I've always envisioned myself. So and today I'm going to be giving you a few of my favorite tips. So if you're interested, keep on watching. The first thing I want to talk about is the inner work. I can't stress this enough. You can look beautiful and you can do all the hygiene, self-care routines all you want to. But if you have an ugly spirit, ugly spirit, it's not going to be helpful. If you have no emotional intelligence, if you don't know your self-worth, it's not going to be valuable because although you may look beautiful on the outside, you may be somebody's dream woman. If a man feels like or a person feels like they can take advantage of you, they will. And so it's very super important that you not only do the outer work, but that you do the inner work to become the best version of yourself, to remember your self-worth, to have boundaries, to set standards for yourself, to implement on your standards to stand on your standards if you don't have all of those things intact if you don't know exactly what you want and what you deserve then people will run all over you okay so I spent $65 I used to spend it every other week now I spend it like once a month um, on therapy to get myself um, just to work on my emotional intelligence to become a better person for myself so it's very important that you do the inner work and there you don't have to go to therapy but just make sure that you're doing the inner work to know your self-worth to set boundaries your non-negotiables things of that sort make sure that you know your emotional standards um and the standards that you want to uphold for yourself before we get into it before you try to implement anything else babes because i promise you i know from experience if i had not did the work on myself People would be running all over me and people have. It wasn't until I started doing the inner work on myself that now I'm able to get exactly what I want and I know exactly what I want. So I just want to say that, get you some therapy. If you don't want to do therapy, journal, journal prompts, um, you know, meditating, all there's different things that you can do to really um, get back to figure out the things that you want. There's YouTube videos of girls um, talking about like remembering your self-worth. I like to listen to Shira Seven. Um, there's another uh, girl that I like to listen to. I'm gonna pop her up right here. But um, there's a multitude of YouTubers that I like to listen to to kind of remind myself and to just make sure that I got myself together and that I remember what I deserve. So yeah, that's the first thing I wanna say is that it always starts with inner work. The next thing I want to talk about is making sure that I look good every single day. Listen, I used to go to work and I used to go with no makeup on and I just used to look any kind of way. I used to do my hair and stuff, but I just used to look go any kind of way. And I realized that um, I started listening to Shira Seven and I know some people don't like her, but I really enjoy her content because I take what I need and I leave the rest, okay? And that's what I always encourage people to do is take what you need and you feel like you can apply to your life or you feel like adds value to your life. And if it doesn't add value, if it's not in line with your beliefs, then just leave it for somebody else to take. So one of my favorite things to do is, she always says is to look good, to always look good. Don't just leave the house looking any kind of way. And I truly believe that the moment that I started putting more effort into my appearance, more people wanted to do more things for me. You know, like not just men, but just people in general wanted to do things for me. People would hold the door for me. People would just be more, be nicer to me. And I know this a factor of like pretty privilege, but as a woman, you should take advantage of pretty privilege as much as you can especially when it comes from a man you should be taking advantage of that all the time because that is your god-given right okay i feel like that's your god-given right is to take it he didn't make you a woman to just be doing what men do you are supposed to take advantage of the double standards that are placed on men and women you know um so for me, looking good, looking presentable, doing my makeup each day, wearing earrings. I wear a work uniform, so I have to wear like the same shirt and pants. It's just different colors. But I like to wear funky earrings. I like to change up my glasses. Um, I have different glasses. Sometimes I wear my contacts and I wear may wear different blue light glasses. I like to change up my hair. I like to dye my hair. I like, I've been trying to figure out different natural hairstyles to wear. I like to wear different cardigans and sweaters because even 
know I, I have to wear the same uniform, I can make my uniform look more feminine with the sweaters and cardigans I wear. I like to wear rings and jewelry. It's just multitude different ways that you can elevate your style despite you wearing, you living, you working a nine to five and having to wear the same thing. Looking presentable, like a lot of times we feel like we can't do things after work because we don't look presentable. But I just realized that I, I do more stuff after work like happy hours and dinners and lunches and solo dates after work when I look presentable. I'm not afraid to go into places because I don't look done up. I just started going each day um, as my best, best self and I've been able to receive more doing that. So I would always say look good each day, look your best and there's some days where I'm just like I'm gonna run to the store real quick, you know. That's just how it is but if you can try to like limit the amount of times that you do that and just try to look your best it really is helpful piggyback off of that one of my favorite things to do to level up my life is to get my hair done and i have natural hair and i i'm gonna be completely honest one of the hardest journey parts of this journey of like becoming my best self especially physically is that i have natural hair and i feel like it doesn't fit the European beauty standard. And so sometimes I feel like when I see girls talking about their level of journey, they're talking about quick weaves and sew-ins and that's just not my style yet. Particularly, um, I just genuinely love my natural hair. And so one of the ways that I've been trying to do it on a budget is I get my hair done at a hair school. I have a vlog of me like getting it done at a hair school and I'm going to get my hair done again for my birthday through a hair school. I get my hair dyed, trimmed and blown out and straight in at a hair school it cost me like 70 bucks and it looks really really nice um and that way i can still like get be beautiful on a budget i still am struggling on finding natural hairstyles that like don't make me look childish because i feel like that's what i struggle with um and trying to find the time to actually do my natural hair the way that it's supposed to be done so i can't give much advice on that because it is a struggle for me as well. Like I've even contemplated heat training or like perming my hair to 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 feel like my best self because sometimes I feel like my natural hair just makes me look childish and just looks unkept and I just don't like that. So I've just been trying to figure out ways. If you guys have any recommendations or any channels or anything, leave them down in the comment section. But for me, dyeing my hair really helps. I have like blonde in my hair right now and I'm gonna get my roots touched up. But dyeing my hair literally makes me feel like a new person. It makes me feel like a new woman. Um, I always tell anybody, if you don't feel like yourself, dye your hair, switch your hair up, and you will feel like yourself again. But that is just my favorite way. Like when I'm down and out, I'm like, I need to dye my hair. That's what I need to do. And I just always feel better. So, and I do it through the Paul Mitchell Hair School here in Atlanta. Um, and the one in at in the city of Atlanta, well, how Mill kind of, but like over there, I do that one and I really have enjoyed it. This will be my second time going. Um, but there's also a lot of natural hair people or in a lot of natural hair um, companies that will do you know your hair. So yeah, but that's just been the most affordable one for me, and I've really really enjoyed it. And I would recommend it. They do braids, they they start locks, um, they do manicures, facials, they do everything. So. It's just a great thing to just go out and try. Um, so yeah. The next thing I want to talk about that makes me just feel beautiful. This is my favorite thing. It's pajamas, y'all. I used to go to to, to sleep in like an old class t-shirt and some shorts. Uh, or just, yeah. And I started invested in Shein sleepwear. Y'all seen videos on my, I have videos on my channel of me doing Shein sleepwear hauls and on my TikTok as well, shameless plug. But pajamas really make a difference. Like when, imagine you are doing your body care routine. You just got a nice shower. You did your body care. You got your lotion. You got your, um, your body oils, serums, skincare, all of that, and you have some beautiful, nice pajamas that just make you feel beautiful even while going to sleep. Top tier, top tier. Nothing compares to it. Like, I'm telling you, as someone who used to wear class t shirts, um, big t shirts to sleep, nothing compares to sleepwear, and it doesn't have to be expensive. I get a lot of my sleepwear from Shein, they are the best priced i get um that i've tried burlington i got some sleepwear from there i've also even thrifted some sleepwear as well um that i have been in 
great condition and I have just been able to uh, go to sleep feeling just beautiful like it just it just makes me feel beautiful I love going to sleep where and um, I would say that it just really benefits you because I'm not saying you have to do everything for like a man or the male gaze because I don't center men but just imagine that you're going to sleep with your partner like I always believe in creating habits while you're in your single season that's just not happening I believe in creating habits in your single season and not just waiting until you get a partner to be like, oh my God, I need to do, start doing all this stuff. Y'all, wearing pajamas, wearing beautiful pajamas, dresses, two-piece sets, it doesn't have to be something luxurious. You don't need to wear the roll with the feathers every night, but just wearing pajamas that make me feel good to end my day, it just, I don't know, I really can't explain it, but it's just really nice. I, I even enjoy picking out my pajamas for the night because I just, it just really makes me feel feminine even while going to sleep. You know, wearing those big t-shirts make me feel like a tomboy, but wearing a nice dress or wearing a nice like two-piece set pajama set just makes me feel very feminine and beautiful while going to sleep I just I don't know how to explain it but it just really it really just does something for me as a person despite whoever I might be in relationship with or whatever it makes me feel beautiful and I just love it so I just wanted to say that that getting some pajamas does not have to be expensive because I know when I started looking at pajamas and choosing to like add this to my routine I was like oh my god this is going to be super expensive da, da, da. but I started looking on Shein at pajamas and I have found some beautiful pieces and um, I have realized my favorite pajamas like my favorites are the two piece sets sometimes I wear dresses but I really enjoy the two piece sets as well um, that it's just it's just good like I just I just recommend it uh, speaking of she in I wanted to also say that one of the ways that I've been you know trying to be you know this baddie on a budget is through press-ons I have press-ons on right now I don't know if I can see that but I have press-ons on right now these are from she in y'all I um, have like a whole nail kit if y'all watch my vlogs you know that I do my nails all the time uh, but I had to like stop I stopped doing my nails like the gel X kits because I was just so scared of getting contact dermatitis and getting the um, allergy of a uh, acrylates and I didn't like that because acrylates are in so much things that we use every day like surgeries for our mouths and just regular surgeries and and scans that I just did not want to form an allergy to that so I decided that I was just going to start wearing press-ons and press-ons are just better for me anyway because you know of me being like a chemist I'm dealing with chemicals and I'm dealing with ink and so it just messed up my nails so I just really like the um, the flexibility that press-ons give me so I ordered, I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to show y'all, I ordered a whole bunch of press-ons from Shein, which y'all can see, um, I, I started using some of them, but like these, um, I'm sorry y'all, I was just looking at them, but I have these, I just ordered a whole bunch of press-ons from Shein, and I've been trying them out. One of the things that I don't like about them is that they don't give you enough nails for like us big finger people. I don't know, like they don't give you enough nails for like these three fingers, I feel like. Um, and that's on the downside, but I have been enjoying them. I've been uh, wearing these uh, for like two days now. Um, I just started wearing them. In, well, start wearing from Shein. I've been wearing um, press-ons. I have some linked in my Amazon storefront that I like. They are French tip. Those are my favorite ones and they're short. I like that brand a lot. Um, I also have my favorite glue in there but I've also been trying out this nail glue. I don't have it with me but I'm gonna pop a picture up right here. I've been trying this nail glue from Shein as well and it's been holding up. I cleaned up my whole house today. Um, with this nail with these nails on and I was doing some deep cleaning and not one of them have popped up popped off yet so I really enjoy I've been really liking this nail glue I think that is gonna be my new fave but press on nails is really great for keeping your nails done and just you know people look at your hands and you don't want your hands to look crazy all the time and I know for me I really hate like when my hands don't 
look well but at the same time like I just refuse to pay so much money getting my nails done right now in the times that we're in so press ons has just been that affordable option for me and i can honestly say now that um now that i have press ons i probably won't go back because i like the ability to change my nails every week i tend to get um tired of my nails fairly quickly so i just like the ability to change them and yeah so these are from shein um you can also get some from amazon whichever you like but yeah I want to talk about is my hygiene routine my hygiene routine is like the epitome of my leveling up because body care and taking care of yourself is so very important and I know we talk about like self-care but you know hygiene routine is ultimately self maintenance but it's still very important because it just makes you feel good when something makes you feel good, you exude better confidence. You know, like you can keep your head up high because you feel good, you look good, you know you look good, you know you smell good, you know you take care of yourself. You just walk with a different type of oomph in your, you know, in yourself. And so one of those ways is through my hygiene routine. I just genuinely love my hygiene routine. I did a hygiene haul on my YouTube channel previously if you want to go check that out I also do them a lot on my TikTok about like just my favorite things that I like to include in my hygiene routine but body oils body lotions um body washes a self-care like a facial routine like a like a skincare routine um hair mask Things of that sort just really help me. Another way that I really enjoyed like my hygiene routine is I've been I started getting my eyebrows done. I didn't get my eyebrows done before because I don't really have that much eyebrows. Okay, these are like you know filled in. I don't have that much eyebrows, but I started getting my eyebrows now. And when I tell you they make such a huge difference, and it doesn't have to be expensive. I pay like thirty dollars for like three sessions, and that helps me um, to like you know stay on budget because it's like it just equals itself out um but yeah i just started you know getting my eyebrows done finding different ways to like get the things that i want done but it doesn't have to like break the bank and getting my eyebrows done has been one of them i want to include getting my eyelashes done i've tried doing my own eyelashes and they just eyelash extensions and they just don't work out for me so i'm trying to figure out like the best option to do that but that's the next thing that i want to conquer because i've tried eyelash extensions on myself and i really like how they look on me and i feel like they just make you look effortlessly effortless without even trying um so i definitely want to include that in my routine but yeah that's just another way um class pass is really great for like trying to find beauty care um stuff on a budget um, and y'all know I live by ClassPass. I use ClassPass to work out, to try different workout classes around Atlanta. And they offer a lot of beauty maintenance stuff, facials, stuff like that, all through a point system that you pay for monthly. Y'all know I love ClassPass. Me and ClassPass are just like this. Um, I've been using it for months, so I can, I'm attesting to, I'm not just saying it, I actually use it. A lot of the girlies use it because it's just like the best option versus like paying for to like do workout classes or paying for a, a fitness uh, membership. Paying class pass and being able to try a multitude of different things, yoga, Pilates, bar, um, just saunas, all of that, it just makes sense okay i love class pass it's something that will never ever ever leave my budget so i wanted to include that in here the last thing i want to talk about um is home decor one of my favorite things that i like to do that i've been really implementing is home decor and specifically bed sheets and like just making my bed up I have this aesthetic I'm gonna include it here that I have of like trying to like make my bed look like and nothing is more rewarding than leaving work and getting off of a hard day and coming to some fluffy sheets and bedding and I'm telling you it does not have to break the bank I got both of my duvets off Amazon my du duvet cover off Amazon and it was not expensive I get my bed sheets through um, Ross or um, home goods but my Majority of the, the time, Ross and Burlington, I don't believe in spending a lot of money on bed sheets because you can find some really good ones for an affordable price. Amazon has some great ones as well. Um, I got new pillows through Burlington as well 
just some new pillows. Your pillows do not need to be looking yellow. You need some new pillows. If you have yellow pillows, you need to go ahead and get some new ones. That was me before until I started investing in my space and I got some new pillows. And it just, I'm telling y'all right now, like you sleep better when you have better pillows on your bed and better sheets. When you have, I use two duvets and a duvet cover and it just really makes it all better. Okay, so I'm telling you right now, invest in your bedding, invest in your room, invest in your space because this is the space that you live in and it's nothing like looking beautiful feeling beautiful and then your space just looks like blah invest in your space it does not have to be expensive and i always say start with the bed and just like once you get your bed down that it sets the the move for the rest of your room i also invested in getting flowers from trader joe's on a weekly basis to also elevate my space um y'all always see in my vlogs i'm getting flowers from trader joe's it's because it really just it's not, it just makes my room feel more feminine. I love walking into my room and seeing flowers on my nightstand. It just makes me happy. Um, imagine flowers on the nightstand. Pink. I have pink roses on my nightstand right now. And I have this beige and green bedding. And it just looks beautiful. Okay. So, um, yeah. That's just the ways that I've been leveling up myself um, on a budget. And I hope that that can help you. Um, I've also been, you know, elevating myself through jewelry and stuff like that. If you have a lot of piercings, curating ear piercings, um, cura curating earrings so that it looks just cohesive and it doesn't just have a whole bunch of studs and stuff like that. There's just a multitude of ways that you can elevate yourself without spending a lot of money. My glasses are through Zulu or Firmu, um, Firmu and I'm looking to get some new pairs. It's just different ways that you can do it. But I hope that this video helps. Uh, if you want to see some of the different items that I use in my Amazon storefront, it's linked down below. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.